She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Are you married to your laptop? I mean, serious, do you have one of those intimate, close, incredibly emotional and mentally bonded relationships with your ma- with your laptop? That's exactly where Melissa found herself and her husband was a little jealous of that little thing. Just a month after they were married, man, she was so married to her business that she was neglecting their honeymoon time. I mean, they've been married for 30 days and here she he, he was already resenting the work that she was doing. That happens a lot in marriage. It's kind of unusual for it to be 30 days in, but that's exactly where Melissa Sykes found herself. Uh, one of those, it was just a very driven woman who wanted to make money. And when she first came to the website, dannyjohnson.com, that's where her life was. And she was riddled with debt, a newlywed, and already life was not going in the right direction. Today, you're going to hear some tips and techniques that she learned from the website, dannyjohnson.com. And more importantly, first steps to success in creating a dynasty are two three-day training seminars that completely revolutionize how Melissa lives. Wait till you hear what is happen to their income, to their business, to their marriage, to their life. And you know, they really are a true testimony that you can live your life by design instead of by default. Too many people live their life by default because everybody else is doing it. So they think that's the way it's supposed to go. So here, every single week, we bring you two exciting testimonials. People who were once living a way maybe that you're living right now, and they found some simple little strategies so that they can turn and live the way they want to. Because you know, here on The Danny Johnson Show, every single day, we challenge the status quo of success. You see, on the outside, Melissa looks successful. She's working 80 to 100 hours a week. Isn't that success? She's making pretty good money. Isn't that success? Heck no, that is not success. Not even close. But unfortunately, our society has taught us that that is successful. And we have so many people, millions of people that are out there living their lives like that, not getting any sleep, not eating good, not having good, healthy relationships, making money, but spending it all and still feeling the burden of the debt, as well as feeling a, feeling like being a slave to whatever business or job or career it is that they have. And that's not how you're supposed to live. That's why we challenge that status quo every single day here on the Danny Johnson Show. So joining me today is Melissa Sykes, all the way from Florida. In fact, uh, Miramar Beach, Florida. Uh, She's joining us today via Skype. Thank you, Lord, for technology. (laughs) Melissa, how are you today? Uh, Thank you so much for having me on your show. I'm excited to have you here. I know that you're a faithful uh, listener, watcher of the Danny Johnson Show, you and your husband both. Uh, We've had you guys here before, just audio, so it's exciting to be able to express you in full living color via Skype. So, Melissa, tell us exactly where you were before you found the website, dannyjohnson.com. Um, Well, I was in a pretty desperate place. Like you said, I was working 80 to 100 hours a week. I was a total slave to our business. And the most frustrating part was no matter how hard I worked, it didn't feel like I was getting ahead at all. We were just pretty much stuck. Um, I was newlywed, and my husband definitely resented my relationship with my laptop. Um, We were in debt, and um, we just really were in a very desperate place, and we wanted something. We were searching for something to get out of where we were. How did you hear about the website, dannyjohnson.com? Um, it was a total accident. I, uh, stayed up all night praying because I was just, I had no idea what I needed to do. And I just happened to reach out to someone who was in a home business company that I was in at the time. And she did not know who I was. I was not in her sales organization, but I thought, Hey, she's a couple years older than me and way more successful. So she knows something I don't. So I emailed her and 20 minutes later, she emailed me back and said, hey, I can't really help you, but I, my mentor is Danny Johnson. Check her out. So I was on the website, and a week later, I was in California at my first First Steps to Success. Wow. 
So literally, one week's notice. You didn't let anything stop you. You didn't like say, oh, you know, I'll wait for her to come to Florida or, you know, I'll wait till the timing is better. You know, I got I got to work 90 hours this week, so there's no way I could just take a week, you know, take a weekend off and go to a seminar. You didn't do any of those excuses at all. And you even had all that debt. So you didn't use the the money excuse. You didn't use the the inconvenience of time excuse. You weren't looking for, you know, the sun, moon, and stars to totally line up in your favor. But instead, you took that just, that's crazy. A lot of people don't do that, Melissa. A lot of people go, oh, really? Oh, well, you know, and they'll go to the site and, and they'll find 17 reasons not to attend First Steps to Success. But you had the one reason to attend, and that was to stop working 100 hours a week. Uh, yeah, and that's crazy. That I'm really proud of you for doing that because that's a, that's a rare thing. All right, so you came through First Steps, and then you went through creating a dynasty, and you went gangbusters with changing some things in your life. What happened yeah. next? Um, I found the most important thing I had to change at first was my time management. So I cut my hours back immediately to 20 hours per week and immediately our income doubled. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's that's crazy. Okay, hold on, Melissa. This is nuts. All right, so here you're saying that you were working 80 to 100 hours a week just to keep afloat for your business, for your income, right? Trying to pay off debt. And you went through first steps and right away you said, I'm cutting my hours down to 20 hours a week. Like, what prompted you to do that? Um, After going through the first steps in creating a dynasty, I just looked at the thing that needed to change the most in my life. And I said, okay, based on all the training that I got this in these couple weekends, the time management has to change. Like, I cannot survive this way. So that I just went for it. And I... I was really scared at first, and I was going totally on with childlike faith, but we just went for it and uh, immediately saw results. Wow. So you cut your hours down to 20 hours a week. That had to be really super scary. See, I, I've taught a lot of people to cut their hours back, you know, especially those who are working like you, especially so young. I mean, your, your life, you are already a, a complete slave. You'd almost see the lashings on your back. You could see the sweat on your brow that was continuous. And, and that just stinks to live your life. You're in your 20s and to have that kind of lifestyle sucks. But it, a lot, I've taught a lot of people time secrets. The same thing I had to learn 20 years ago um, because I was living just like you in my early 20s, just letting my business control my life, letting it live me. And it did. It takes faith. It takes a huge leap of faith to say, I don't care. What? Tell me, when you say that that was like the the biggest area that you needed to change your life, um, why? Why was that? Why did that come to you? Because you're young, you're newly married, you don't have any kids yet. Why did you feel it was necessary not to work 100 hours a week? I knew that I wasn't going to stay married or mm-hmm. have kids if I continued to work that much. Yep. Like I could already see the writing on the wall that my business was taking over my life and I wasn't happy with it. And my husband obviously wasn't happy with it. Yep. Um, and like you said, I was supposed to be in the honeymoon phase and we were having stupid fights over dishes and stupid little things that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. So um, I... In Time Secrets, you talk a lot about the priorities that we need to have, and I realized mine were totally backwards, and I just I knew I had to change it. Nothing else was going, no other changes were going to matter if I continued to work that much. Yep, yep. Okay, so you cut your hours down to 20 hours a week using the secrets and Time Secrets, and one of the secrets is, is to identify what your priorities are, like the reality of what your priorities are based on how you live your life, what your timeline looks like, and then to uh, reestablish a new set of priorities that can actually give you the life that you want to live, not the life that everyone else is living, but the life you want to live. So you learned that strategy of changing your priorities. Like they were whacked. Your first priority obviously was business because you're working 80 to 100 hours a week. You're thinking about business all the time. Uh, You're sleeping thinking about business. You wake up doing business. I mean, it it was a constant grind all over you. All right. So you cut your hours down to 20 hours a week. And what happened to the income? It immediately doubled. Like within three months, it doubled. Why? Why do you think that it doubled? How is that possible? I stopped wasting my time on things that weren't producing income. I realized um, 
when you only have 20 hours a week, you have to do the things that are most important, and that's it. Yep. And I stopped wasting time on things that didn't matter. And I started really focusing on only the things that were producing results. Yep, yep. So what kind of things were you wasting time on, right? Because you were basically wasting 80 hours a week. That, that was obviously not producing anything. So now you only have 20 hours a week. Now you have to really focus on the things that are going to get the result that you're after. So what were some of the things that you were wasting time with? Um, I wasted a lot of time with uh, problem solving other people's problems. Um, venting and gossiping was huge. I spent, wasted so much time with gossiping, which people say, I'm just venting. It's gossip. Um, we, we wasted uh, time on invest, trying to learn new strategies that were never proven, constantly researching things but not taking any action on them. Um, <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> 80 hours a week of gossip. Facebook, I mean, when you have Facebook constantly up in your background, mm -hmm. that is a time suck that you don't even realize. So all of a sudden, 20 minutes would be gone because you were Facebooking. It's, it, there were so many things that just wasted our time. <laughs> I love it. So Facebook, gossiping, you know, under the quotes of venting, Whatever. And that's what people do. And this is what's such a trip is that they think they're working. I mean, did you think you were working those 80 to 100 hours a week? Oh, yeah. It felt like work. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so does gossip make anybody money? Mm, no. Uh, venting? No. Facebooking, like, without an intention of actually getting a result? No. But these are the things that we invite into our life and become what we call workaholics. But the reality is we're not working. We are wasting time. So here with Melissa, doubled her income by taking her hours from 100 hours a week down to 20 hours a week, which is crazy. Um, and now, Melissa, you're in a brand new season of life all together. I'm excited when we return back from the break for people to hear where you guys are now. Where is the business today? In fact, there's several businesses today. Um, there's a new, uh, there's new fruit in her life that uh, that we're gonna have her share about. That, as she said, she wasn't gonna stay married with working to 80 to 100 hours a week. She certainly wasn't gonna be able to have children working those kinds of hours. And I know that never in a in a million years did Melissa imagine that cutting her hours back would double the income instantly within three months. Doubled her income by working less. See, it's not about the hours that you work. It's what you do with those hours. She said something profound, that when you cut your hours back and you limit the amount of hours that you have, now you have to do only that which gets results. You can't mess around with things that don't get results. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more of the Melissa Sykes story right after this. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success, register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. Hi, this is Danny Johnson. Let me ask you something. Do you dream about being more confident, more beautiful, more powerful? Are you that girl who never learned to wear makeup and now you're lost in a sea of YouTube videos? That busy mom who can't get enough sleep and just wants to feel pretty again? Or maybe you're that professional who wants a little more respect in the office. From the boardroom to the bedroom, celebrity makeup artist Extina Harmsworth from XMH Beauty will help you. Extina has a track record of making beauty easy on any budget. Her live classes, simple step-by-step -step professional beauty techniques, and insider secrets will set you apart from the crowd. So don't sit on your dream another minute. Learn from the best. Get your exclusive free gift from Extina today at xmhbeauty.com forward slash Danny. That's xmhbeauty.com forward slash D-A-N-I. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Are you in that place where your job or your work life is just completely sucking the life out of you? I once lived like that, and so did Melissa Sykes, who's joining us today from Florida. She was in that same exact place that her business life was controlling her relationships, was also controlling um, her whole 
life. And it's really sad because so many people actually live that way today. And you don't have to. I'm here to tell you (laughs) that you do not have to live your life like that. That business or that job does not have to control the air that you breathe or control who you have relationships with or who you don't. And it also doesn't have to control whether or not you can go on vacation. Recently, I was talking to a woman who makes a lot of money. And we were talking about the trip to Israel that we're going to be taking in September. And she's like, oh my gosh, it would be so amazing. I would so love to go. Okay. And she totally can afford it. She can write a check for it easily. She goes, how many days are we going to be there? And I said, 12. She's like, oh. 12 days? Wow. I don't know that I could leave work that long. She's an independent businesswoman and can certainly leave, but she's been in such a rut of her business controlling her life that, well, it controls her life. I also can tell you that I've known her parents for a really long time, and now her parents are in their 80s, and they have always wanted to go to Israel, but now they're sick. They've always wanted to go on a mission trip, but now they're sick. They've always (laughs) wanted to go on a cruise for two weeks out in the middle of the ocean, but now they don't have the time because they have to keep working because of poor financial decisions they made just in the last two decades that I've known them. And so this is a sad thing. Your life is slipping by, my friend. It is running by you every single day, and we constantly put off the things that we say we want to do. And in thinking that, oh, we can't because, and usually it has to do with work. In the case of this family I was just telling you about, it's been work. It's been work that has driven them to not, let's say, checking things off their bucket list, if you will, if you have such a thing, a bucket list. They haven't checked things off their bucket list, and now it's too late, and that can't be you, and that's exactly where Melissa Sykes found herself. Same place. But yet she's in her 20s, and she's already living like she's a slave to business. Unacceptable. So, Melissa, you just finished telling us that you came to First Steps to Success and Creating a Dynasty, our three-day, it's two three-day seminars, and there you learned time secrets on how to design the life you wanted to live. You cut back your hours to 20 hours a week. You doubled your income. Within 90 days, your income doubled. Now, where are you? Because you've been living your life by design now for how many years? See, we started in October of 2012, so a couple. Okay, so and about two and a half years. So yeah, and so what does um, life look like then, now? Um, I I became a mom, <laughs> and I've I've cut my hours back even further. So I work five hours a week tops. I would say not even that. I'm just helping out. We have multiple businesses, so I just help out here and there. But the wild thing is, in this year, in the last three months, our income is up an additional fifty percent over last year. Wow. And that's with you working even less. <laughs> and on top of that, we've taken two two-week vacations so far this year. Wow. And a one-week vacation. So we've been home almost not at all and still making more money, which is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> is it shocking? It is shocking. Um, I, mean, I totally we couldn't have expected it, but it's just we've been so faithful with all the little things that it's all really coming together and... Um, Our business just requires less time and it continues to grow and it's amazing. So that's from the strategies that you, that you guys have continuously learned over the last two and a half years at First Steps and creating a dynasty. And you keep just implementing these little strategies that you keep picking up at each one of those training seminars. Now, how much debt have you paid off and are you debt free? We are debt free. We paid off uh, 44,000 in 11 months and that put us debt free. So now it's just basically taking our money and reinvesting it, which is been way more fun than paying off debt. Oh my gosh, has it ever. Okay, so you're vacationing now. You vacation twice uh, in the first four months of the year for two solid weeks, which is crazy. Um, You're making more money. Your income's 50% over above what it was last year. And I know that you are also, that you've teamed up with us with uh, Caring for the Poor. That is what it's all about. So it's not only making more money for yourselves and now you guys are completely debt-free, but I want to get into some of the intricacies about how you guys became debt free. And did you start taking care of the poor before you were debt free while you were paying off your debt? Or did you pay off your debt first before you took care of the poor? Because so many people have that concept so mixed up. It's like, oh, I can't wait to be debt free because then I can take care of other people who are in need. You know, oh, my heart just bleeds for those kids who are starving or my heart just hurts for those people who are homeless and I want to help those kids come out of the sex trade. I'll do it when I'm debt free. 
And unfortunately, the when seems to never come. This is Danny Johnson. We are going to continue more with uh, Melissa Sykes, and then we're going to bring in Jay Green from Las Vegas, Nevada, who also has a, a very encouraging story for those of you who are needing work. You're going to hear how he has grown his career uh, using a system called job domination and how you'll be able to do the same exact thing that he has done. So we'll dig a little bit deeper in the secrets to the financial success of the Sykes family right after this. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success. What multimillionaire do you know that volunteers their time to help ordinary people like you and me? There's only one. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. You know, too many times in life we put things off. We do. You do it. I've done it. What we have to do is catch ourselves from continuously doing it. Years fly by. We've been interviewing Melissa Sykes from Florida today, and uh, we're talking about a young woman that two and a half years ago was married to her laptop, even though she was a newlywed. 30 days into the marriage, the husband is already resenting her personal, intimate relationship with that inanimate object. She thought she had to work that much in order to sustain her business. She learned the strategies of time secrets, cut her hours back from 100 hours a week down to 20. Now today, she's a mom working less than five hours a week, helping her husband with the businesses that they have. Their income doubled within 90 days using that strategy of time secrets. Paid off $44,000 worth of debt in 11 months, but they have a passion that's very unique. Melissa, tell us about that passion that you have. Well, this is something that totally changed from before we started coming to the events, but we really have a passion for helping the orphan, the widow, and the needy. Um, we started just by contributing financially. Um, when we were in debt, we still gave 10% of our income to the orphan. Um, but it's even grown further. Uh, my husband went to Haiti in December, and just seeing the poverty of people and the conditions that they live, and the unimaginable conditions. Like even the poorest people in the United States, they have, live in luxury compared they do. To, to people in this world. Yep, they do. And I happen to be with your husband in Haiti. Uh, he came on that trip with us and I cannot tell you how many times his eyes were flooded with tears as orphan Haitian kids were jumping on him. And uh, when he first laid his eyes on the extreme poverty, I, I happened to catch, I felt so blessed by the Lord to see this. I happened to catch his, his eyes and his face just turn his head and shake his head. No, he was overwhelmed by the pain and the suffering that these people endure on a daily basis. And something happened inside of him. He already was, was giving, and both of you guys were contributing to helping to build homes for the extreme poor, just like the project we're working on in Nicaragua right now. Um, but something shifted. What, 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 from your perspective as his wife, when he came home, what did you see different in him? It was just a whole new understanding and passion. Like we've always wanted to give, but when you see, when you're physically there, he, he was just totally wrecked emotionally. Yeah. Um, he has a whole new drive for growing our businesses. Um, you know, we had that initial pop, then we kind of got an autopilot, we got yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Because for ourselves, we were living very, we were living comfortably. We had all of our needs met, but now he has this new drive that no, we, it's not acceptable for people to just live in extreme poverty. I have to do something to help these people. Yeah. And so he's totally changed. It's a whole new motivation to help change the world, not just our little family circle. Isn't that amazing in two and a half years how that could change? You know what I mean? Two and a half years ago, it was just all about you. 
and then it became about us, right? Oh, I, I guess my husband needs to be a higher priority than business. <laughs> you, you met God in a new way and came to such a revelation about his love and also the purpose for business, the purpose for your, your lives in the marketplace to be used uh, as a powerful force, to be used as powerful tools to obliterate poverty around the world. And that's what you guys are doing. And so it, it literally was a focus of self to, oh, I have a husband, <laughs> you know, and still it's like, oh, we got to pay off this debt and we need to make more money to now it's like, hold on a second here. The vision is so much bigger than just your needs. It's now the needs of others. And this is where you're truly living in the kingdom of heaven, right? It's, it's not just, I give my tithe, I give my 10%. No, we're building houses. We're building houses for the extreme poor. When I, and, and Melissa, you said it best. The extreme poor in the United States is not poor. They live in luxury. The extreme poor in places like Santa Pancha and Nicaragua, we're talking there is no toilet. There's not even an outside outhouse. There is no running water anywhere. It's a bucket. Go find some water. Try to catch some water in a bucket when and if it rains, which this time of year, it doesn't rain. It's dry. Okay. It, it's no food. There's not a pantry. There aren't cupboards. There isn't a grocery store nearby that you can go buy food from. No, it's living in the middle of nowhere. Now you would ask yourself, why would anyone do that? That's what happens when you have generation after generation of extreme poverty. You fight just to survive every single day. And when you leave the comfort of your own little home or big giant house, and you join us on a trip like to Nicaragua, which we'll be taking here this summer, bringing our, our biggest supporters down to witness keys being passed out to people who are receiving a brand new house. It only costs $5,200 to build them a brand new home. That ain't nothing. $5,200. Listen, you and I probably wasted $5,200 in the last three, four, five, six months. Back in my old days, I wasted $5,200 every week on stupid things back in my stupid financial days of making too much money and not knowing what to do with it besides just spending on the kingdom itself. But in Santa Pancha, Nicaragua, we're building homes. They will all have their own well. They will have their own chicken coop with chickens in it, which means that their families are now going to eat protein. They're also going to learn new business skills. They're going to learn how to sew. They're going to get a sewing machine. They're going to put themselves in business so they can sustain themselves. And they will be living in a safe environment. So food, water, shelter, and businesses is what people like Melissa Sykes and her husband Kevin and myself and my family, that we've all come together to say, we don't need anything. We don't need more of anything. We don't, we don't need more clothes. We don't need more shoes. We don't need more anything. But we want to build the kingdom of heaven, which means that we are helping to bring the good news to the poor. Bringing the good news to the poor. That there is a God that heard their cry, and he's sending in an army of people like us. And I hope that you join us on this. I hope you do. Because as you heard, that she, they didn't wait to take care of the poor until they were debt free. They started taking care of the poor while they were in debt and just taking $1 out of every 10 to help those that were in need. And God has exploded their income, has grown their businesses, has their debt is gone, they're completely debt free because they're keeping their mind focused on the things that matter most to God. And putting the things aside of what our society calls success it ain't success. But Melissa and, and your husband, Kevin, you guys are truly living that life of success. You're, you're the model couple of, of what it's like to go through struggles, to learn new skills, to apply those skills, to take that leap of faith of saying, I'm not going to be owned by my business anymore, to cut back, to annihilate the debt, and to take care of the poor. And a vacation to boot. You guys are vacationing on top of that and building a family. Melissa, thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate you. We appreciate what you've shared and how you've inspired today because people need to know that there is an answer. And the answer is design your life. 
The answer is learn those skills. Get a hold of time secrets if you're living your life like Melissa was. Get a hold of war on debt if you're in debt like Melissa was. If you want to grow your business, we need to see you at the next First Steps to Success. Coming up next, we've got Jay Green. Jay Green is from Las Vegas, Nevada. He found himself in a situation where he was really, really struggling and drowning under debt. He found a solution that helped him to pay off a crazy amount of debt really very quickly. He's brand new and fresh here to our uh, Facebook page. He's brand new, fresh here on the Danny Johnson Show. So here's like somebody who's not been hanging around for a super long time, but is fresh and has already started applying things. And so, so I want you to identify yourself with him. If you're new here, you can get off on the right foot just as this young man did. And so Jay Green, we are so excited to have you and have you be a part of the Danny Johnson Show. Go ahead and share your story. Uh, thanks for having me, Danny. So uh, prior to plugging into DannyJohnson.com, uh, life was pretty miserable. I was depressed, um, just financially broken. I had uh, just, I don't know, I was just going down like a dark hole. Um, my faith in, I, well, my faith in God was non-existent. And I just felt like lost, like without any direction and um, just failing in pretty much every aspect of life. So Ever since uh, plugging into Danny Johnson, uh, just everything has changed. Uh, most importantly has been my relationship with God and just my spiritual life. And um, since that's gotten on track, everything else seems to be clicking. I've been able to um, pay off, well, since January of this year, I paid off uh, $2,000 worth of debt. I'll be debt free in the next few months. Um, my business has completely turned around. My relationships are great. I've Landed my uh, dream job uh, thanks to your job domination. So just every, I could go on for like days, but just everything <laughs> is um, better. <laughs> Jay, I'm so excited for you. Um, you know, that's a dark place to be living in. And you know, I think a lot of people just think that this is just my life. You know what I mean? They, when they when they feel like they're drowning under that debt and there's nothing is going right and, and it just, you know, everything that you just described, you just feel like there's no hope. And you look around you and it seems like some people got something going on, but you haven't been able to find it. When we continue, we're going to dive deeper into his story about how has he been able to have this success. We'll continue with more after this. So what's keeping you stuck? It's time to get it out of your way for good. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead-end place where this gentleman found himself but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880, job domination. That's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. Straight talk, real answers. This is The Danny Johnson Show. So here we are with Jay Green out of Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, have you ever been in that place where you felt like you were drowning? You're lost, you're confused. Nothing seems to be going right. That's exactly where Jay was when he first heard about the website, dannyjohnson.com. In the last couple of months, he's paid off $2,000 worth of debt, and he'll be debt-free in the next few months. That has got to be an exhilarating, freeing feeling versus the feeling of drowning and not seeing any options. Jay, you were just mentioning that you found your dream job using job domination. What specifically in job domination helped you to land that dream position that you are talking to us from right now via Skype? Uh, well, the main skill set was just having the ability to be able to form the interviewer and just kind of flip the script and, you know, separate myself from the crowd and, yeah, definitely form and just taking the time out to get to know the interviewer and ask, asking them questions. I feel like that's what really um, separated me from everyone else. And, yeah, it was just a good situation. Now, was there a lot of other people applying for that job? I Apparently, I was, like, 
one of five out of a thousand applicants. Oh my gosh. So a thousand applicants, you use job domination to present your, obviously your resume in a completely different way. You walk onto the scene in this interview and you don't allow the interviewer to control the conversation, but you took control of the conversation and you found a genuine interest in the person that was interviewing you and that switched the game completely and had you stand out of the crowd from everybody else. And so that's an important tip that we teach in job domination. So many people go to a job interview, nervous as all get out, right? We're about, we're setting ourselves up to be interrogated. <laughs> it's like worse than TSA at the airport. So here we are, nervous, sweating. Oh gosh, they're gonna, I'm gonna drill me with questions. I hope I say the right thing. But that wasn't you. You went in there with a plan and the plan was, I'm gonna get this interviewer to do the talking instead of me doing all the talking. And so did you hit it off right away with that interviewer? Right away, um, it was like, um, so the whole interview was, I think it was about three, four hours. And literally, literally they had like, I, I believe it was five different people interview me and just each and every one, I, I used the same skill to get to know them, just break down that tension and just, I had them laughing, but mainly the, the the part that made it made it like a more comfortable situation was just asking more questions about them and getting to know them on a personal level. And then that just kind of leveled the playing field, I feel like. Okay, well, let, let's help the per person who's listening right now who cannot seem to, to land that interview. They can't seem to land the dream job like you just did. So, uh, okay, so like, what do you mean? You, you walked in, what was the first thing you said to the interviewer? Um, well, I, first off, I, you know, thanked them for having me and asked them how, you know, how they were doing and just kept going on asking them questions like, um, how long have you been there, here? How do you like it? What do you like about it? Um, are you from, you know, this state originally? And just questions along that line, just getting to know them as a person. Right. And so that made them comfortable with you. And here's the reality. And I know if you're listening right now, you're thinking, uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable doing that. That doesn't seem right. No, here's what is right. When, it, when you're being interviewed for a job, they're seeing whether or not they want to work with you. And so if you're all stiff and sweaty <laughs> and nervous, okay, or overly excited or overly stressed, they know right from the get-go, you ain't a fit here. But if you make the interviewer feel really, really comfortable, and all interviewers are comfortable talking about themselves. Everybody's comfortable talking about themselves. And so this is a powerful tip, just one of many. In fact, there's eight hours of training inside of job domination. Um, but this is one strategy that Jay used to land the dream job. Now, Jay, let's go back and talk about this too, because I cannot help myself. I love talking about God. He's my most favorite subject. Um, second is my husband, Hans, uh, and then my kids. <laughs> but, but God is my most favorite subject. Now you were saying that you did not have a relationship with God before you came out to a business secular seminar that on a Saturday night during the spiritual equipping, you got introduced to the creator of the heavens and the earth. What happened there? <laughs> that's hard to even really put into words, but um, I don't know. I and I grew up like in the, like the Catholic Church and all that good stuff, but I just never felt connected or felt felt like um, God was either explained or like I don't know. The way you put everything, it just made more sense than what I had been taught previously, and it was just affirmation that. Um, that he wants to see me, you know, do good and rise up and, you know, be successful in, in just every area of life. So. Mm -hmm. so what is that relationship now versus the disconnected relationship that you had before? Um, the best way I can put it <laughs> is just that things just those things that normally may or may not roll your way. They just happen to just roll your way and it almost doesn't make sense. But, you know, obviously his ways aren't our ways. So. It just things just start rolling your way and opportunities come your way that normally probably wouldn't have. So do you feel like he's now active in your life or is before you felt like he wasn't active in your life? Yeah, exactly. And before I didn't know, I, I didn't, God wasn't even a thought in my life, honestly. And, um, now it's, you know, it, he's everything. <laughs> so <laughs> like when you say he's everything, like, what does that look like in your life? Um, I, it just feels very connected. Like I, I know he's here because I, 
just certain things roll your way that don't make sense. And, and you know and it was I, him. It's just like, I know it's him. It's like, oh, shoot, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning that was not me. That wasn't another human. Yeah. That had to be God. There's no way. Like, for example, the job interview, right? right. And, and the dream job that you're in. So what else, what do you like to do outside of work and and you know paying off debt and things like that? Um, well, I love to travel, so of course going to your your events make that uh, more conducive, <laughs> <laughs> as well as a tax write off. <laughs> yeah, exactly, um, I like to travel, like the outdoors. I'm into fitness, so and I love to read and just educate myself. That's really awesome, Jay. I got to ask you one last personal question. How old are you? I'm 31. You're 31 and you're single. Single. <laughs> <laughs> All the single ladies are going to find you on Facebook. <laughs> you're a gorgeous young man. And uh, I appreciate a man that is not embarrassed to talk about God and to tell the truth about God. That, hey, once I was lost, now I'm found. And you truly feel that there is a father who loves you, who adores you, who is for you. There he is, you know, and you, we look at a dad that's so proud of his kid playing soccer at four years old. Go kick it, kick it, kick it. That is our father in heaven who has that same kind of heart, even ever so much more bigger for us. And once we realize that, that we're not alone, we are not lost, that we are not forsaken, that he's not too busy for us, but that he adores us and that our very presence of him takes his breath away and he's a father who is well pleased with his son well pleased with his daughter and once you realize that there's something that clicks inside of you and it says wow he is for me he wants to see me do good he desires to bless me he's not waiting there with his belt waiting for me to mess up so he can point it out but he is waiting for me to say yes to the plans and purposes that he has for our lives. And so when you know that, your entire attitude changes about everything. Your whole life is now seen through different colored glasses that says there's a force behind me saying yes and amen and wants to set me up to succeed, even in my sufferings, even in my sufferings, because suffering is part of learning. Suffering and hardships and trials are part of learning and growing and building in our character. Even in those times, he's standing with us, cheering us on and helping to strengthen us through that stuff. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. If you've given up hope for your nation, your family, or even your own life, then this show is for you. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, this is Danny Johnson. Let me ask you something. Do you dream about being more confident, more beautiful, more powerful? Are you that girl who never learned to wear makeup and now you're lost in a sea of YouTube videos? That busy mom who can't get enough sleep and just wants to feel pretty again? Or maybe you're that professional who wants a little more respect in the office. From the boardroom to the bedroom, celebrity makeup artist Extina Harmsworth from XMH Beauty will help you. Extina has a track record of making beauty easy on any budget. Her live classes, simple step-by-step -step professional beauty techniques and insider secrets will set you apart from the crowd. So don't sit on your dream another minute. Learn from the best. Get your exclusive free gift from Extina today at xmhbeauty.com forward slash Danny. That's xmhbeauty.com forward slash D-A-N-I. Be sure to tell a friend about The Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. You never know when your life is going to take a turn for the better. You really never know. But it does take making a decision, just as you heard today with both Melissa Sykes and Jay Green. It took making a decision. Their life was a mess, you heard it. Drowning in debt, suffering. Melissa working too much, neglecting her brand new husband. She'd only been married for 30 days. Jay Green, just lost, disconnected. But you can get connected today by taking steps that they took. One step that they took, and I'm just gonna give you a couple of steps here, was for Steps to Wealth. If you don't already have it, I'd love to give you a copy for free. First Steps to Wealth, dial 866-760-8255. In this book, is going to show you what both of them were talking about, both the skill set of being what we call an employeepreneur, how to interview in that position, how to not only land the dream job, but how to keep it and grow in it and get promoted and get bonuses, all by making 
decisions all along the way to live your life by design instead of by the default of what? Bad habits. The default of what? Being distracted. The default of what? Getting busy with things that really don't matter. But learning how to design your life in such a way that you live that power-filled life that causes other people to say, how have you done it? First Steps to Wealth. Also, it will show you how to pay off your debt. 866-760-8255. Again, that's 866-760-8255. Ask for Nelly or Nate. Either one of them will be happy to serve you right now. And you let them know that you just heard from me and you'd like to get a copy and that I promise to send you a free copy of the book if you pay the shipping. You cover the shipping, I'll pay for the $15 book. Second of all, they, got, they came out to First Steps to Success. It's a three-day powerhouse seminar filled with amazing people that will just completely blow your mind. You'll be so blessed, encouraged. Your faith will be built. You'll learn new strategies that you've never heard before. And you'll learn some things that you have but have not acted on. And you'll get that motivation inside of you to take that next step as you will be surrounded with other people who have already taken that step. First steps to success, if you go to dannyjohnson.com, you can find out more information about it. And lastly, taking care of the poor. Go to kingsransom.org. Start today with blessing those who have nothing and you'll begin to see a vision that will get so much bigger than just your life focused on you. But when you focus on others, now you start to live that blessed life. kingsransom.org. Santa Pancha, Nicaragua is the, the project that we're working on building one thousand homes for the extreme poor. We've already raised enough money to build 122 homes. That's over $600,000 that's been raised in the last few months. Join us on this amazing adventure. Again, that's kingsransom.org. The project is Santa Pacha, Nicaragua. And lastly, friend, listen, freely you have received today's inspiration. Freely give it. Let's help other people become successful as well by inspiring them with these two stories that you just heard. So please simply just get on Facebook right now and share today's program. You can share it through email, through even a text message. Just share the link and tell somebody else to watch it. We'll talk to you tomorrow with another exciting topic. God bless. Did you hear that last segment? Do you know someone else who needs to hear it? Go to dannyjohnson.com, find today's show and share it online. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted. Hi, welcome to the Danny Johnson YouTube channel. We're super excited to have you here. And every single week, we're gonna make sure that you get awesome videos for your business, career, making more money, saving money, annihilating your debt, as well as helping you to handle those really tough problems that you have with people at home, as well as at work, and taking those really good relationships you already have and causing them to flourish and grow. All you have to do is click that subscribe button right down here. Click that and you'll be subscribed to an amazing community of people as well as some great videos that will help to improve your life. Thanks so much for being here. Subscribe now would be good. Just click it. I know you can see it. It's somewhere down here. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.